Welcome back, everybody. We are back right now with some developing news for you at 430. Fotis Dulos is still in critical condition this afternoon at a hospital in New York City. As you remember, Dulos attempted suicide yesterday while he was supposed to be in court for an emergency bond hearing. Dulos was facing charges in the murder of his wife, Jennifer Dulos. His lawyer, Norm Pattis, was tight lipped on his medical status, but he did describe the condition as grim and dire. I can't speculate on what led him to do what he apparently did. Um, uh, we had no indication that this was possible, and we are as shocked as you are by this. Now, tonight, police remain at the home of Fotis Dulos in Farmington. Channel 3's Courtney Zeller is joining us live from there right now with more. And, Courtney, what is the latest from Jefferson Crossing? Well, Aaron, uh, a lot of police activity out here this uh, afternoon. We do see state police right behind me here. I saw the major crimes van out here, and that is because we are just learning uh, state police have obtained a search warrant. They are searching the house as part of their investigation. Let's go to that video now because yesterday uh, a very different scene at the Dulos home. A lot more uh, law enforcement out here. Farmington police were called uh, here for a well-being check after Dulos was running late to his court appearance. Uh, police tell us his GPS monitoring device had him inside the home. When they peek through a garage window, they noticed Dulos inside a vehicle in his garage. It was clear he needed help. Uh, they believe he tr tried to commit suicide by carbon monoxide. That's when our drone three captured video of Dulos taken outside. He was on the pavement and police and fire crews were performing CPR for at least 10 minutes. Moments later, more police arrived with ambulances. Crews started putting up two blue tents and a tarp. Then moments after that, Dulos was taken by ambulance with a police escort. Um, we do know, of course, he is in the hospital at this hour. We're supposed to be getting another update uh, from state police today. Um, so, of course, we we will bring that to you as soon as it's available. But for now, we're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Farmington. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.